Turtle Island, the DIY community for all things TV show, movie, and pop culture related. Just want to say a quick thank you to everyone who has joined me so far on this virtual island by hitting the subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, we gladly invite you to do so. We would love to have you be a part of this island community. And uh, also, in last week's Duper Dope video, I got a request to do another Walking Dead uh, tutorial, which that specific request will be answered this week. Um, but anyways, once upon a time, yeah, we came back on Sunday and uh, we got to see a glimpse of Killian as the Dark One and we still don't know where he is, we still don't know how, what's gonna happen, but it inspired me to finally make this little replica of his hook. I wanted to make it something a little more useful than just a hook that I would like lug around during Halloween and have it just sit in the back of my closet the rest of the year. So I decided to make it a chalkboard as well. So uh, yeah, without any further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. The first step will be to grab a piece of foil that is at least 12 inches long. It could be a little bit longer, but make sure it's at least 12 inches or I think that's around 30 centimeters. But anyways, grab some toilet paper. Yes, I know it's weird, but just go with it. Um, and then you're going to make like a snaky thing, making sure one end is a little bit fatter than the other. And once you have about this much, you're just going to roll up your foil like a burrito. And then you're going to use your palm to flatten that one side to give it like a nice flat bottom. And the other side you're going to make kind of pointy. And then from here, you're just going to shape it until it kind of looks like a hook, which is what I am going to do now. Once you're all done shaping, you should have something like this. Second step will be to grab some newspaper and then just rip it up into tiny little strips. Um, there's no really rhyme or reason to this, just rip it up just like uh, you see on the screens. Now onto our paper mache cocktail. In a mixing bowl, dump half a cup of flour, a half a cup of water, and then pouring that in. And then you're just going to take a tablespoon of salt. And um, then you're just going to give it a nice whisk until it's nice and smooth. But baby, I'm really... Now time for the fun part, in my opinion. It gets super messy, but it's pretty fun. So you're just going to dip your newspaper strips into the paper mache paste and don't worry if it rips on you because you can just use it anyways. And then just take off the excess by like squeegeeing the newspaper strip between your two fingers and then just placing it on your aluminum foil base that we made earlier. And then just keep on doing the same process until the entire hook is covered in your paper mache newspaper estafs. And this is what you should have once you're all done covering the hook and it might be a little lumpy so I'm just trying to smooth it out as best as I can but need not worry because there is an extra step to take care of that which after about an hour or dry of drying or so you can see that it's actually really really rough so what I did is just added another layer of our leftover paper mache mixture and I tried to make it as smooth as I possibly could but yeah and I just let that dry and after that I just took a nail file or you if you have sandpaper you could use that as well and I just used that to smooth down the surface a little bit more because it did come out a little bit lumpy after I let it dry overnight. After the sanding process, I went ahead and painted one side with silver paint and what I did was just squeeze the paint directly onto the hook as you see me doing on the other side that has not been painted yet and I just used a little brush to spread the paint around and I ended up doing two coats of that. Head, 
while that's drying, I took an empty one liter soda bottle and I chopped off the top curvy part and then also the little stout part to serve as the base of our hook. Next, what I did was take a piece of black craft foam and I cut out a circle that was big enough to cover the top hole where the spout of my soda bottle used to be. That way we can create a base upon which we can hot glue the hook to. So after I cut it out, I just hot glued it to the inside of the soda bottle and now what I'm doing is just cutting out another smaller circle to place on top of the already glued circle and um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted to make a stronger or a thicker base for the hook to stand on and then once I'm done cutting that out I'm just gonna hot glue that down to the other piece and we'll move on to the next step and this is what it should look like so far minus the little gash on the side I accidentally cut my bottle too far and I had to seal it with some hot glue and it just gets easier from here you're just going to hot glue the bejesus out of the hook and place it right on top of there holding it in place till the glue dries and then I just took some chalkboard paint and painted the base until it was completely opaque and I ended up doing a total of two layers. I thought we were holding on, aren't we? No, they don't teach you this in school. After that was dry and per the instructions on the bottle, I just went ahead and lightly rubbed some chalk all over it to quote condition the chalkboard and then uh, after I was done completely covering it, I just wiped it off and the paint was ready to or the chalkboard was ready to go. This is the final product and the last thing I did actually which I forgot to film was I glued this hair tie to the inside that way I had something to hold on to for when I wanted to walk around with a hook on my hand I guess. But yep, all done guys. I'm so excited with the way that it turned out and I hope you liked it too and if you did, please pretty please give this video a thumbs up and uh, also don't forget to subscribe and while you're at it why don't you go and leave a comment below I would really love to hear from you guys and uh, yeah until next time Nocturnalites good night and good luck thanks for watching